and I can't wear these. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name's Sarah Dawson and today I'm going to be doing the first time tag. I saw Zoella do this and some other people, but yeah, so let's do it. So the first question is the first app that I check when I wake up in the morning. And this is going to sound so lame, but the first app that I check when I wake up in the morning is Snapchat because I have to do my streaks because I don't want to lose them because that would be sad. My longest streak I think is like 257 days and that's with one of my friends. So yeah, first app I check in the morning is Snapchat. Second question is first broken bone. I touch wood actually have never broken a bone and if you don't know what that was it's a random thing that I do I don't know if anyone else does it to not jinx myself but yeah I've never broken a bone so lucky me the first foreign country I ever visited was Fiji but it's not particularly memorable because I was six like I remember little things but I don't really remember much but the first overseas country that I visited that I have full memory of was Bali when I was 14. Yes, it was very fun, very beautiful. Um, yeah, it's lovely. And if you want to see my first Instagram post on my public account, follow me at Sarah with an E underscore Dawson. Shameless plug. My first ever makeup item. Let me see if I can find it. I found them. Okay, so I got these two at the same time out of two different magazines. This one, I think it's a blusher and a bronzer. I'm not too sure. I never really actually used it. And then this one, that's designer brands. This one's Sally Fitzgibbon's. And this one, I think they're meant to be eyeshadows. They could be something else. They look like that. Anyway, they're my first makeup products ever. And yeah, it hasn't really escalated much from there. But you know what? We're trying. The first plane ride I ever went on was from, oh, to Fiji. That was the first ever plane ride I ever went on. But yeah, the first one I fully remember was I was flying up to visit my nan before we moved up to the same town as my nan. So yeah, we didn't really go anywhere ever because my mom is terrified of flying, so yeah. The first YouTuber I subscribed to was Jenna Marbles, my girl Jen Dog. She's actually slays my life. Um, and then, just a little side note, second YouTuber I subscribed to was Shane Dawson because he also slays life. I love him. If you don't follow either of them, check them out. Go subscribe to their channels. They're actually hilarious. And yeah, if you are looking at my videos and you haven't seen Shane or Jenna, then seriously, amp up your YouTube game. I actually still drive my first car because. I'm 17 and I am not gonna bag it out because it's a boss car. My first celebrity crush was cartoon Peter Pan and then it was real life Peter Pan and then did any of you ever watch Denny Phantom because I had a crush on him as well I had a crush on a couple cartoons which is weird and then I also had a crush on Cole Sprouse in like The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody so like the first season me and my friend always used to be like I always used to be like okay you can have Zack and I'll have Cody because you know Never really into the bad boys. Okay, this one's good. My first ever fear. Okay, so I am obviously I was like scared of the dark when I was little and stuff like that, but this is my first full ball loan. Had to make my mum check under my bed in my cupboard behind the door, bloody in my sheets before I went to bed. Gollum from the Lord of the Rings, and I am still scared of him to this day. So here's the story. Little old me, three years old, walking down the stairs, you know, having a good time. And I'm like, hey, dad, I can't remember what I was asking him. I think I was asking him a question about high five or something. When's high five come on or something? And it was the, I don't know which movie it was. I don't know anything about Lord of the Rings because I'm too terrified of Gollum to even look it up. But he was sitting on the rock and he was like, I can't even do it. It scares me. He was like, my precious. And now the word precious is triggering to me. <laughs> it scares me so much he scares me my dad okay so anyway basis of the story i saw Gollum. i instantly waterfall tears out of my eyes run to the stairs bawl my eyes out crying my mom goes get up to my dad move out of the way she turns it on to settings and she shows me how they made Gollum, like how the man wore like this cgi thing 
and I was still so terrified. My dad had to turn all the DVDs in the box set around because there was a tiny little square on the bottom of all the DVDs that had Gollum's face on it. So my dad had to turn the entire box set around because I was that scared. It was so scary. Emma, I had two night lights, one in one corner of my room and one in the other so that Gollum could not be anywhere in my room. That's right, Gollum. Come get me now. Actually, don't. Lol. I'm still scared of Gollum. This isn't my first toy, but this is my favorite toy that I've ever been given. I'll just... So this is Sella. She's my unicorn. Don't judge me. I, as you can tell, she's really dirty. I got her when I was like... When did I give up my dummies? I was like five. I gave up my dummies when I was five. Okay, don't judge me on that either. And my mom was like, if you give up your dummies, I'll buy you a toy. So we went to the toy shop and there were all these really cool like electronic toys. And I was like, no. I want this stuffed unicorn and I named her Sala and I don't know where that came from. I named her when I was five and yeah, this is Sala, my first ever toy. My first concert I ever attended was a Savage Garden concert. I don't know if you know who they are, but if you don't, look them up. They're bomb. They're not together anymore, but they were bomb. And there's a cool story behind that actually. I was at some theme park and they were there and I was like, Mom, I was like four. And I was like, Mom, it's Savage Garden. And she was like, okay. And so we went up to them and she was like, can my daughter get a photo? She loves you. And they have this one song called um, Moon and Back. And I sang it to them and I was like, I will take you to the moon and back. And they were like, she's so cute. Like, can I film you singing that? And I was like, so. I don't know whether he still has it, but the guy, the lead singer from Savage Garden used to have a video of me singing on his phone. You know, I'm just pretty special. Just kidding. But yeah, no, I thought it was really cool. I was really excited. Told all my friends at school, took it into show and tell. I was like, I'm at Savage Garden. And they're like, who's Savage Garden? Because my dad and me listen to old people music. The first movie I can remember seeing was Peter Pan. And that's where my first crush came from. Because Peter Pan is bae. Love him. The first wedding I ever attended was my older brother's and his wife and I was the flower girl. I was 10 and I had really short hair and then they curled it so it was like here and it was the tightest ringlets ever and it was really cute but yeah and I wore this white dress with this big red satin bow around the middle and I had a great time. Oh and I got to wear little tiny heels and I was so excited because it was the first time I ever wore heels. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, like and subscribe, and as always I hope you have a great day, night or morning depending on wherever you are. Love you!